cloud and then I am going to share screen here. All right, there we go. Okay, welcome everyone to the February 23rd iteration of the Micro Profile Live Hangout. And a link to the meeting minutes is in the notes. Thank Mark, thanks uh, to Martin. Uh, sorry, a link to the meeting minutes is in the chat. And um, it is everyone's shared responsibility to take notes. So click on the link, add your name as a contributor and help take notes for today's call. This meeting is being recording along with the chat and both will be uploaded to YouTube um, after the call. So um, the agenda today, uh, I'd like to spend pretty much all of the call. Um, if we have any like super urgent things, maybe we can get them, sneak them in first. But on um, the Jakarta EE alignment um, discussion, which I have here is Jakarta EE namespace adoption. But um, so there's links uh, in the meeting minutes to the discussion um, and to the doc. So that's gonna be, uh, I think a majority of the call. Is there anything else that anyone absolutely needs to cover during this call? Okay, one thing th that we did discuss that I'll leave a little bit of time on at the end is how often to have these meetings. Are we ready to go back to bi-weekly, right? So we'll reserve a little bit of time at the end for that. Okay, um, as we were starting the call today, um, Emily um, felt, uh, well, we discussed, and, and she's gonna lead this micro profile alignment, uh, Jakarta alignment discussion. Uh, she created this doc and with all these options. So, um, Emily? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah. So it's uh, basically, it's, uh, we are trying to use this um, doc to talk about all the options so we uh, on the table about uh, and then uh, uh, like uh, go through each options to see which one is the more suitable for us. So I think it is uh, like not only like uh, put forward by me. So with uh, a lot of you uh, effort from the whole community. So I just uh, like uh, take a lead to like uh, go through them. Uh, so I think it's uh, like uh, most uh, a lot um, people, in, uh, including end users, uh, interested in knowing when we are going to, I mean, uh, line up with um, Jakarta E9. Uh, like uh, the, we have a few options. Option A, so basically is um, we maintain two streams, micro profile 5.0 and 4.x. So for the X will stay with Jakarta uh, E8. So it's, and then 5.0, we will release 5.0 straight away. And then like uh, we'll start other option, uh, uh, functionalities on both the stream. So it's basically the side by side. So it's uh, like uh, in this option, like uh, the people can pick what ha whatever they want. So if they stay with the um, Java X namespace, they can pick a micro profile 4.x. Uh, if they stay with, if they migrate to Jakarta namespace, they can use the micro profile 5.0 uh, and 5.x uh, later. So basically 4.0 and 5.0 uh, identical except the Java X namespace change. So the process is very clear separation. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, the customer can decide, um, or, uh, I mean, which release they want. And then in this way, like, um, they don't need to hurry up to migrate their applications. Okay. Uh, the cons is the kind of each spec, they need to maintain the two, like, uh, streams. They need to do the double delivery. Um, and uh, the other thing is the kind of if we go forward, have a break uh, changes, Maybe like at that time we reassess to see whether we continue support uh, Java X namespace. If we do, maybe micro four dot X become a six dot X, and uh, continue to support uh, Java uh, uh, Java X and a seven dot X will stay with the uh, Jakarta uh, namespace. Uh, the other cons is uh, kind of for the release. So each release. If we release like a micro profile config 
uh, for example, we will have um config two dot uh, uh two dot one, and then at the same time you release the config three dot one. So which means uh, like uh, when you create uh, compatible implementations, you need to make sure like uh, they uh all pass all the TCKs and etc. Um, I think it's kind of the basically you need to maintain um two versions of the implementations. So this is the first option, option A. Uh, oh, Emily? Yeah. Um, so one, one thing I, I hadn't thought about before, but this is kind of limiting to the 4.x release then um, in the sense that you could not introduce any breaking change, right? Yeah, you could. If you want to break a changes, and then that would be 4.x become 6.x. 5.x become a 7.x. Oh boy. Yeah. So hopefully, with the hope, like uh, when you introduce breaker changes, and maybe by the time you introduce that, and then yeah. most people uh, already on the Jakarta namespace. <laughs> so oh. here's an approach, sorry. Um, just because we have like four or five options to go through. Yeah. Um, do we do we want to go through all the options first or discuss them as we go along? Okay, yeah, we probably should touch on all of them first. Anyway. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, the next one. Uh, so it's um, option B. So option B is a kind of we will uh, just align micro profile 5.0 with the Jakarta uh, namespace. And then it's basically we uh, migrate everything to from java x to jakarta x so it's from now on like uh, uh if we do a release of for example in june uh, like uh like the first thing we do we we kind of change all the namespace from java x to jakarta and then that's it it's kind of one switch and from now on that will be a jakarta uh, everywhere is jakarta uh, if someone want to use Java X namespace, they have to use a micro profile four. So the 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 pro is very clear. <laughs> so it's a kind of from a, a micro profile five dot o five dot x is only care about Jakarta namespace. Uh, there's mm -hmm. no add uh, to maintain. Yes. Uh, any. Sorry, that question. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, okay problem um so it's a kind of only one stream to run and uh, the cons is kind of the uh, the end users may not be in a position to support uh, Jakarta namespace as yet and uh, this is kind of force them to migrate from java x to Jakarta. this might potentially hurt a micro profile uh, uh john can you scroll a little bit yeah so it's a kind of yeah. So it's a kind of the way maybe rush into uh, Jakarta, and um, I don't know whether everybody has seen Arian's survey about um, like a Jakarta EE uh, nine. So I think it's a kind of uh, more than half they will wait for Jakarta EE ten uh, to and then they will make uh, they will adopt. And I think it's less than half will they say they want to use Jakarta E9. So that's option B. So basically, option B is Jakarta E uh, uh, only, uh, Jakarta E9 only. And the option C is kind of we ignore Jakarta like uh, for now. And uh, however, we just say minimum is Java X. And uh, implementation, you can like uh, uh, like uh, make your implementation work with um, a Jakarta namespace. So basically, it's uh, from the spec level, we say okay, we only use Java X. However, you uh, implementation, you saying okay, if you could get your implementation, micro profile four dot X work with Jakarta E nine. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. So in this case, like a spec level, because we only publish APIs, we only like uh, need to care about care about Java X, and uh, then we can like uh, move along, uh, uh, like uh, quickly, and uh, also is kind of because the implementation take care of the like uh, complicated, um, uh, I mean technical, 
requirement and etc. So it's um so it's a, like a being this burden being taken care of by the implementations. So the cost is kind of uh like um we leave the from the spec perspective we we are we are not doing anything. I mean special we seems like a leave all the burdens to the implementation and then there's a kind of the concern uh, i mean from rudy's uh, kind of the we only deliver the binary and use the javax and then the implementation transform to decatur maybe there's a kind of uh, complication like you certify against uh, transform the apis and etc uh, don't know whether it's um, uh, yeah, is there any kind of the, um, consequences. Uh, like uh, I think Dimitri also expressed uh, like a binary manipulation uh, is uh, is quite tricky. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So the next one, so this is uh, this is an option D. So basically, recap. Option A is the support both. Option B is only support uh, Decatur. Uh, option C is the only support uh, Java X, however, is a give option to implementation to add extra stuff. And then option D. Option D is um, uh, micro profile ignore Decatur E9, continue with Java X. So basically, it's a kind of the, it's a kind of the implementation, if implementation uh, like uh, want to support uh, Decatur, they can go ahead, but it's not portable. And the micro profile never, never claim like a, a micro profile could work with Jakarta E9. If some implementation saying, okay, I could, that's, that's fine it's in their own core. And the micro profile uh, will start to consider to adopt a, a Jakarta namespace from Jakarta E10. Uh, basically, when 10 is out, and then we will uh, micro profile spec will adopt a Jakarta E10. The process um, micro profile spec only need to worry about JavaX. And uh, then is um, like uh, the micro profile implementation can choose the Jakarta and uh, at their own risk. And uh, uh, in micro profile community and uh, will consider Jakarta, Jakarta namespace from Jakarta E10. At least this is clear. So the cons is kind of basically we ignore the Jakarta E9. So it's, uh, however, we need to help the Jakarta namespace and etc. Uh, and uh, this might potentially like a sl slow in innovation. And then the other thing is it looks like, uh, I don't know whether the, this move will make a micro profile kind of, um, it's a kind of just a few like uh, awkward uh, is kind of by ignoring Jakarta E9. Anyway, so the, there's a, uh, like a two more options. It's kind of very close. Um, one is very close to option A. So it's option A1. This has uh, been added uh, by Roberto. Um, so it's uh, uh, option A1. So it's the kind of micro profile 5.0 aligned with Jakarta E9 and also Jakarta E8. So basically, it's, um, uh, it uses kind of the um, uh, Maven classifier. So it's uh, to do all these kind of the uh, binary uh, manipulation and etc. So I think as um, it's a pro and cons. It's kind of the um, one one pro is you have less branch to manage, uh, and uh, but there's a kind of other consequences. Is the kind of the binaries coming in double, so basically one release you have both. And also the the same, it carries the exact same burden as the implementation, you need to certify against both binaries as well. Uh, but I, uh, that's reduce the effort to double do the double delivery. <laughs> uh, the, the other one, option B1, so John, this is uh, uh, put by you. Do you want to take this forward? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the idea here is that we can, uh, you know, continue to deliver uh, any releases with MicroProfile 4 
um, you know, un un until we have a micro profile five, maybe even in parallel if we decide to. Um, but micro profile five is basically very similar to Jakarta EE9. It's just a namespace release, right? And um, and then when we get to a feature bearing release um, on top of micro profile five, that would be micro profile six, right? Which can include breaking changes like maybe metrics or something. So um, the idea here is that this aligns with Jakarta EE, right? So it's very clear that Jakarta EE9 and MicroProfile 5 are Jakarta namespace only releases. And then moving forward from both of those communities, it is based, everything is based on top of that, right? Now, of course, if we want to do something in parallel um, based, for example, I think uh, Scott had questions um, or comments above. It's like, well, yeah, we could still do things in parallel, but it's just more work, right? If we want to incrementally add like a 4.1 release. Um, but generally speaking, um, it's kind of a, a hard switch over to micro profile five in the, in the, uh, in the namespace switch. Um, so this uh, basically, uh, well, I, I think I, that's, that's some of the cons is that, you know, we, we can do feature delivery in 4.x in parallel. Um, and Six, uh, again, six, is, it becomes clear. Six is everything going forward is, is, is Jakarta X. And depending on the timing, maybe this aligns with any outcomes for C and for J, right? So that's kind of a separate discussion. And then the con is that, you know, we could have three breaking changes in a row, right? 4.0, 5.0 namespace, and then 6.0 um, could be again an opportunity for breaking changes with metrics or whatever, right? So um, this is kind of uh, a variant of option B, but the idea is we're kind of continuing forward with the Jakarta namespace, right? We have a, a clear dedicated path forward. Uh, that's all. Uh, John, I didn't quite understand what's the difference between B and B1. Looks the so, same for me. B B is it's it's a release dedicated to um, the Jakarta namespace, right? And that's the only thing that we're doing. There's no other incremental changes. If I recall correctly, B also said that um, B could also in include release. Sorry, features. Is right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so what uh, we're but the main difference mm -hmm. is that. Uh, B1 is a switch without making any changes at some point, and B is a, a release of 5.0, which may include some changes. And Correct. that's the difference, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So also, yeah. also let me let me add that uh, the one that uh, John just described um, mimics what uh, happened with Jakarta, right? So Jakarta made the exact same uh, thing. He made Jakarta nine with none, none without any changes, right? Just uh, the namespace update, and then they are doing ten with uh, with API changes and whatever things uh, they want to push over there. So in here will will be exactly the same uh, situation, exactly the same solution that was adopted for Jakarta. Yeah, I, I just asked because then I was reviewing the document. I thought that option B is exactly B1, uh, but it, it was my fault possibly. I, I would right. still like to see that clarified because I know when John and I went through this, I had the exact same question, Dimitri. And so I think we, we need to clarify this, especially if we're going to try to push this out to more people. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I agree. So I think I put a comments here. This is kind of the, I, I even like asked, when do we plan to do microprofile 5.0? Five, five, five so it's uh, John saying, uh, could it be in June? So and then the other thing is, uh, are we going to do 4.1 between now and June? If we don't, uh, probably we directly jump into 5.0. So basically we'll make a B is B1 same as B. Does it make sense to uh, align MicroProfile 5 release with Jakarta 10 release? In this case, 
we are kind of supporting C, um, uh, the Alliance initiative, right? And uh, I think that uh, it actually makes sense that micro profile with Jakarta namespace is released together or like kind of, you know, at the same time frame with Jakarta 10 because users, uh, as you mentioned before, based on the survey, uh, will switch or preferring to switch to uh, Jakarta namespace at the time when Jakarta 10 is released. So I am Go ahead, I have a question. Who who is making all these anonymous changes? Because it sure is getting really weird. Oh, uh, first of all, I apologize. I just realized I'm not logged in in this browser, so I'm going to have to <laughs> log in in this browser. So my bad on that. Um, and hey, at least it's not micro profile. Um, yeah. <laughs> and and then um, yeah, if you can just give me edit rights, Emily, because yeah. Have all right, thank you. OK, yeah, I'm going to log in here in a second. Uh, it is right uh, previous to Red Hat. And then, and then I saw you got anonymous. And then I also give you the edit uh, to Gmail. So both of them should work. Um, if you log on, uh, use the either or the email should work. Emily, um, one thing, the document is still not in the community drive. So um, I already asked for the other document. Please move it um, in the community so that we have more variety. I, I do not know when we want to release it to the forum and uh, integrate others' ideas. But um, you know, I think you're doing a great job on that. Is. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Go finish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, Dimitri, so you are saying, let me go back. So you, let me see if I understand it. You are saying that one of the releases of MicroProfile should align with the Jakarta release maybe not only 10, but in the future? Is that what you are proposing? No, 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 this is not what I'm proposing. I'm saying that uh, the switch uh, of the namespace, uh, MicroProfile 5, which is going to have that switch, Jakarta namespace, uh, should be possibly aligned with Jakarta 10 release. This is what I'm saying. OK, good. I misunderstood you, and this is why. Oh, in, in, in essence, we're just ignoring 9. Mm -hmm. I, I, Roberto, you said eight and nine are the same. And last time, two weeks ago, you were fantastic on the explanation as to why both are the same and why it's dangerous or maybe bothersome to ask. Yeah, people. well, they are not they are not completely the same, right? So there is a namespace change. The only thing is like Dimitri and uh, we point out like a couple of weeks ago and uh, we are realizing or most people are realizing now is there is no incentive uh, or, or there is like a lack of incentive for people to move if they don't have any new features, right? I mean, why should I migrate my application to Jakarta 9 and going for all the hell of uh, changing everything if I don't going to get anything out of it? I mean, it should be okay for new applications and that, that might be a use case that we might consider, but the existing applications, I mean, only for a handful of people I see migrating I, um, as you know, I have like some connections with uh, the industry here and uh, some people that are using micro profile and I asked, I asked the question directly to them and they say, Hey, if, if we don't get anything out of it, why should we care? Why should we migrate? Of course, I mean, this is just like an example. It might not be the same for everyone, but uh, still think, think about what you will do in that situation. Yeah, yeah. But still for us, it's not, not implementable without the workaround to change the namespace binary uh, on runtime. So how obligated are we to release a Jakarta E9 compatible version of MicroProfile or not? We are not obligated to do anything, Edwin. At that all. was a question. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, are, we are not obligated, but if um, our users um, asking or asking for it, then we might consider it. Right. Um, but I want to comment on the um, comment of uh, Roberto that sometimes, and there are also, again, some people do and some people don't, that um, they want to switch now because the only thing what changes now is the namespace. If you wait until the new features and and all, and um, and do a switch with EE10, 
and you are doing two things at the same time, which can be sometimes confusing to track what is now going wrong if you get an issue. So people are switching, but again, it's not the majority, but if uh, we need to support them or not, that's then the question. Right, I think that's a valid point. You know, um, while we, we do have to keep in mind, are we slowing people down from switching? Right. I was about to say the same thing, David. Thank you. I think that's Rudy's point, right? So, our, you know, we have to keep in mind if we are actually adding friction to the to the to the concept of migrating mint space yep. to those people who are willing to pay the pay that cost now before there are new features. Yeah, that's what I meant. So. Um, Dimitri, uh, on your on your your proposal of a micro profile five switching to align with a Jakarta E10. Um, on that option, you know, maybe it might not be micro profile five, but maybe like six or some other number because it, it's very likely we, who knows how long the 10 release will take. Um, and we may have, uh, we tend to move pretty quickly on the micro profile side, so we may end up with another version, major version number in the middle, just sort of a FYI kind of a thing. Maybe it should be like, you know, it, anyway. Let's put an X. Well, I, I don't want to modify his proposal, but I just. That, that's the option D, to, uh, by the way. That's the option D is said exactly that. Just, just to put in a plug, Jakarta X does so have he, fixes in it, so. You know, I'm sorry, Jakarta namespace packages do have fixes in them. And especially in 9.1, there will be some work for JDK 11. So right. it, they're not standing still. Yep. Uh, and it's also, I don't believe that we've said that, you know, after 9, such as 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 9.4, people can't introduce features. So we've had that conversation and it, you know, you know, when I saw the document, what I thought is that it seems we're very fixed on nine, but like Ed mentioned, 9.1 does fix a few bugs here and there. And then I believe that there are many other little small releases. So in this document, something I did not do when I checked it and edited a few parts is I didn't change or commented on us adding flexibility to the versions because there are changes after nine. Nine is fixed, but 9.1 has changes and 9.2, I think will have changes as well. All of those of things that were not tackled during the release process. So can we do anything to fix this? To add a little bit more um, flexibility to the releases and maybe which one we will adopt, have it three of um, being assigned just to nine. Do we somehow categorize these options? Ones that do support nine and ones that you know, don't. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Because I was also thinking, what are the parameters that we are going to make a decision on? And are we yeah. going to dot vote or are we going to stripe away the options that, that really fall off because we can't or don't want to uh, implement them or consider them? So we can have the discussion, this is great, but there's a lot to consider when we have to make a decision somewhere. So yeah. how are we ultimately going to work towards that point? I, I think oh, we have we have two major factors here. If I can can say, the one is when will we support the Jakarta namespace? Because eventually we will do it. If it's not now, maybe not next year, but and at a certain point in the future, we will do 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 do, do it. And the second factor, I think, are we going to support both of them in parallel? Yes or no? Java X and the Jakarta one. I think those are the two main questions. And the rest is details, if you ask me. Yeah. yeah. Well, there is a major detail as a part of that. And that is, you know, when adopting the Jakarta namespace, there's a lot of implementation work that has to be done, right? So there's going to have to be compatible implementations decided for each of these specs. That's so there's a, real work behind some of these. Yeah, OK. But that's uh, a, a result of the this, of the, uh, of the this decision that we made that some more work is needed or not, but it basically 
it is just do we support it in parallel yeah yes or no or and, and when do we support it well what what, what john is trying to say and uh, that was something that, that uh, i discussed with john uh, in other occasions is and it's one concern of mine, which is if you look, and I mean, this is just stating facts, right? So if you look into micro profile four, six out of eight implementations were coming from small right. And the other two were coming from IBM. Uh, so, uh, and don't get me wrong what I'm going to say over here, but I mean, we don't want to come into a situation with everyone decides, hey, let's go move and move forward with Jakarta 9. And then that's going to push everything to the current implementations that are very limited right now, right? Um, so what I'm trying to say here as well is, if we come into a decision where we want to support Jakarta, we also need to figure out that we're going to need help on the implementation side because I think it will be a really uh, unfair uh, for a single brand or a single vendor or just a very few vendors will have to do all the work to support the compatible implementations for Jakarta, keep supporting the current ones on Javax and uh, be fully able to do the release, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna add, add a little bit to that. So we don't know how much work that's gonna take, right? And if it takes a lot of work to push us pretty far out, it's gonna, it might influence our decision on these options too. And also, I want to point out, Roberto, you nailed it. And it's beautifully stated and super kind. I have no idea how you did that. By the way, this is my personal view. The, the other side is, you said we need to be cautious of how we need to implement the work and who will have to do the work. We have user groups that are the ones, are members of the working group that will use the technology, right? One, we have cloud providers that are the vendors that support the developers and we have implementers that can help however their internals are their internals to own and this conversation luckily hap will happen in the public but we need to be sure that we will not have just one implementation pushing forward and getting doing something that is nice but being highlighted as the implementation because it will hurt that's Everyone that comes afterwards. A different topic, but it's super related. Well, to, 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 to clarify, remember, uh, even if we do all the work at the API and the spec level, we cannot release without an implementation being ready. Right. And to be able to, 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 to implement uh, the changes on the API and the spec. Well, I mean, we're not going to have changes at, at, at spec or the API, just a namespace change, but still going to require work at the implementation level. And the thing that I, that, I, that I want to make very clear uh, and, and raise awareness is uh, this cannot fall to the same people every time. And uh, if we want to move forward, I think that we're going to need some help uh, at the mutation level. Yeah. I think that's a fair statement to make. Yes. And I want to go farther on this and say that microprofile should state within the, the releases that it must have more than two implementations, not one. I think two. that's really a burden. It is a burden. How do we do this? I mean, these are the kind of conversations. I, I think that's too much of a burden. Um, yeah, this is going to slow us down. I think if we do that, yes. right, our three releases per year. I mean, I, I understand the sentiment and, and the concern, and we're, we're trying to avoid this, but I think this is kind of a, a rare occurrence that we're hitting, right? Where everything is doing a major change at once. And hopefully we don't have to hit something like this very often. So I'd like to treat this more as the exception as opposed to the rule. Yeah. Um, on this note, you know, um, is there, feels like we have a big answer, a big question to answer, which is, could we even possibly get an implementation willing to support both namespaces in parallel, right? That's a big question. And if we don't have that, then, well, our options shrink by half, at least. And uh, there's no point in entertaining ones that, do you know what I mean? So do we want to give some time to for people to see if implement supporting both is reasonable? And that may mean that the, the specification projects do 
experimental forks of the TCK, you know, or do we want to do some experimenting in this space? Do we want, do we, before we vote and have a decision, do we want to actually prototype some things? That's so kind of- David, the only concern with that is the more time we spend deliberating this effort, the more the chances are that Jakarta uh, will probably move ahead with breaking changes that are not, um, you know, in parity with Jakarta 8. Right, so that is another concern. So we do have to time box it if we are going to experiment. I'm gonna throw out one, one other thing that the way we've historically operated is June is a breaking release and the other two releases in October and February are incremental releases. My personal opinion is that we don't have to follow that this time around, right? Um, Special, I, 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 what is it? You know, special times calls for special solutions. I, I can't. I'm think, trying to think of the cliche or whatever. But um, you know, we don't necessarily have to do that this time around. So, if we feel that we need to do an incremental release while while we do um, some prototyping, experimenting, or come to a decision, um, to me, that's an option on the table. I'm just or, thinking or about, of what are we yeah. deliver in June. I, yeah, I, I, still so, like uh, I, I, I would like to say something about the timelines. I believe that uh, talking and some I, I hearing talking about timelines on all the time, and I think they are uh, slowing us down because we're trying to always fit the solution with the current timeline that we have. And I think we should not follow that approach. I think we should take this, we should pick up solution based on what we feel is best. And then we adjust the timeline, not, not the other way around. Yeah, and we typically operated it on a train model. Right, but I think, as you said, John, I think this is this is uh, you know grounds for we should favor in you know th that's a good rule to rule to have generally just to keep the things moving. But obviously, if a big challenge comes in front of us, as Roberto says and you said say, mm -hmm. and sort of what I was kind of hinting at is you know we should favor doing what micro profile does best, which is experiment and see if we can come with some technical gain some technical confidence in our ability to even support the, the, the namespace now you know if if a great solution comes up and everyone wants to copy it then their answer is right in front of us but we probably want to have some sort of kind of Re, you know, some sort of dates in mind where we where we want to figure out if we have the answer or not. You know, to to, to Chandra's point, we we do want to time time box it in some point. We can't just say we're going to spend the next six months doing this. It has to be like, let's spend the next two months, or let's spend the next three months, or you know what I mean. Everything be or like a deadline of June, right? We gotta we gotta. If we can't figure it out by June, then we have our answer right there. <laughs> mm. I think uh, I think uh, give it two months is already probably too much. Too it's, aggressive. Uh, now it's, uh, yeah, too aggressive. So it's uh, now it's kind of the, the nearly March. And then considering you do a release, if we want to get anything out in June, we're better off the kind of staging it in May. <laughs> so, and then get uh, things done, probably the finish uh, in, in April. And uh, basically, we only have uh, kind of the few weeks. Well, I think that to, to Roberto and John's point, and that we may not do a release in June. That we may actually skip that release, and instead of doing a release, see if we can solve this problem technically, and validate some of these options as achievable. But don't we? Let me throw someone under the bus. Summer, Summers, you're here. You are a part uh, of the- Before you do that, can we get let Kevin finish his thought? Yeah. It, it's okay. I think we were speaking at about the same time. I guess I was just wondering though, do we have some point releases of our component specs that are chomping at the bit to get something out? You know, because we were planning another release here in June. Well, actually, I think it was before that. And then we kind of brought this up and this kind of threw a wrench into our whole discussion for the next release. So, I mean, do we have ones that are chomping at the bit to get something out, even if it's only to support Java X? So I, I'm, I'm a little concerned about saying that we're going to just put things off until we figure out the whole big story. Valid point. And, and Kevin, you know, it could happen in parallel. 
um, okay, yes. so, so, Summers, I want to pull you into this because you are a user. Sure um, thing. Go ahead. So um, from my opinion for what it's worth is informed by web and mobile and um, kind of continuous delivery perspectives. And so from that perspective, I don't really, it's not I don't care about backwards compatibility, but the Jakarta move and keeping up with Jakarta is kind of the most important thing for just being able to keep all the software maintained, all the software up to date, and not having to consume this and that and pick and choose. However, those that is not necessarily the problems that most enterprises will want solved. Can you hear me? Yeah, maybe it's like uh, reconsider the option like uh, the stack level thing, Jakarta, and the implementation have the freedom to support Java X. Um, so, so I think it's a difficult, um, it's a difficult uh, situation. The other thing is, uh, I think the longer we leave behind, and uh, then it's the Jakarta move along and uh, faster, and then we have a lot to catch up to do. One option, which is kind of strange, um, the, the only thing stopping us from supporting backwards compatibility as us just vendors is it leaves users in a, in a situation where, um, where they don't have API jars they can compile against uh, as things move forward. And if we produce the API jars ourselves officially, then we need to provide compatible implementations for it, which theoretically is maybe not a problem going forward. If in fact, vendors do want to support the backwards compatibility, then theoretically there are compatible implementations. But, uh, you know, maybe to give ourselves a little bit of a breathing room, we could just issue uh, you know, let's say we did do the Jakarta switch now and we call it five uh, and that comes out in June and we could maybe issue like RC1, RC2 versions of Java X equivalents of the API jars, but they're not considered final and therefore we don't need compatible implementations for them, but the, the market could consume them and we could give ourselves a little bit of flexibility to, 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 to iterate towards the right solution. Plus feature development can also commence. Right. So that we, can create those, we can create those RCs with, you know, tooling too, you know. We, so um, it, you're saying this is almost like a, like a, a kind of experimental. <laughs> so it's a, use it as a, your own risk but we don't claim anything. Right, and that could go either way. I mean, it could be like we stay Java X and then we issue RC versions of the J Jakarta ones that people can try, but they're not considered final and therefore uh, there are no compatible implementations guaranteed to be there. But if other vendors are working on backwards compatible tooling, they could leverage those jars and so could the users. You know, or we could do it the other way where we just switch over to Jakarta and then we issue RC one, two, three equivalent jars of the Java X and they're not official and we don't have compatible implementations. It doesn't slow down our votes. It could go either way, but the idea is that we would just issue out these convenience jars, but they're not considered the, the official thing. And that frees us up from having to, to deal with the compat compatible implementation constraint. How, how many implementations do we expect to support those RC versions? Because if it's only one, then is that worth of doing it? Sure, I think it's an, I think it's yeah. enough. The other thing is, uh, I mean, how the vendor view you know, they they support RC RC APIs. They don't the actually other... have to use those API jars, by the way. They could just take the existing API, you know, like right now, a lot of us are doing backwards compat, or a lot of us are doing bytecode transformation. So 
you know, this is one of the things that maybe we should consider just in general is, you know, signature tests so that people don't actually have to use the, the jars that we're producing. They can use whatever jar gets the job done. So if they got there via their own bytecode transformation, as long as they end up with the same signatures in the end, it's okay. Right. So, uh, oh, sorry to step in here. Uh, just a, a time check. Um, I'm going to go four minutes over since we start four minutes over. So we'll, we'll do 10 more minutes of this and last few minutes just discuss when our next meeting is. All right. right. Sorry. Can, go ahead. can you go back uh, to the Google Doc again? So, so one of the options is about uh, like uh, we switch to Jcartor. However, like uh, the uh, like implementation have the freedom to like uh, support. Um, yeah, that's an option D, I think. Uh, can go. Yeah, yeah, this one. So it's uh, basically that they kind of have a freedom to 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 support like uh, the Java X. Potentially, they could uh, take uh, the API uh, micro profile produce and do the transformation uh, like uh, namespace transform transform back to Java X. Yeah, but but then vendor is not allowed, I guess, to transform the official micro profile code and to Jakarta or Java X in whatever um, in whatever way, and then call it again micro profile because it's not officially released by this working group. What if you always say it's a kind of, they could do that? We don't guarantee is, it would work. Is it allowed by Eclipse Foundation? Is that valid? Yeah, is it, is it, uh, yeah, that's a question. Is that valid? Well, I, I don't see why that's an issue because on the Jakarta side of the fence, we're allowing implementations to backwards to take something that is written in Jakarta and and transform it to Java X, and we're not making a big fuss over about about it. Yeah, but there you have the situation that both versions are released by the Jakarta group. It would be the same here, right? If we, for example, switched to Jakarta at five, and vendors did the backwards compatible transformation. It would be no different than what's going on in the Jakarta world. But not because there are new features. So we never released a new feature in either of the of one of the namespaces. I don't think it's a feature issue. I think it's just a, we want, you know, we want to support as much backwards compatibility as possible. In any case, we need to check this on different levels if it's allowed or not, uh, IP wise and uh, and brand uh, protection and whatever else. So I, I guess I'm, I'm a little confused, Rudy. Maybe I'm, are, are you thinking about like down the road and there may be some new updates to the Jakarta APIs and then those we can't convert back to Java X because we would be modifying the Java X namespace because of the API differences? Uh, no, because I, I thought the idea was now uh, with the option uh, that we release only RCs uh, for one. So, okay, let's make it concrete. We release 5.0 in the Jakarta namespace, and we have new features also, a new functionality in that, in that same version. To make it easy, uh, as, as it was mentioned, we release uh, 4.1, uh, but only an RC one which is exactly the same, but in the Java X namespace. But that's, Mon, not but... that that's not officially released. So is then a vendor allowed to um, convert that officially by 5.0 Jakarta one to the Java X one and call it again micro profile 4. something? Because we yeah, never released a, an, an official 4. Dot for that one with those features in the Java X namespace. I don't know, this backwards compatibility story is really complicated and it actually smells. Are we going to use like a keys principle? Keep it simple. Looks like we are trying now to uh, come out with some kind of a workaround, uh, introducing release candidates and so on and so on and so on. This is not the right thing of doing these things. So if we want to keep it simple, if we want to keep it normal, 
let's just release version. We have four, let's release five. It's going to be Jakarta or it's not going to be Jakarta. It's kind of uh, another question, uh, but it should be five and we should not release uh, 5.1, the same that 4.1 to keep a backwards compatibility and so on and so on. Because first of all, users will not understand it. Same way I don't understand it, right? And uh, the second thing is that this is an absolutely terrible maintenance cost of all of that. I don't know why we are trying to do it. I don't know why we are even talking about it. I, 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 t I tend to agree. Plus, I mean, um, it will be interesting to have some more. I mean, we have that survey. It will be more interesting to have some more information. I mean, I... I, I, I we discussed cases where we see people that are not going to move until Jakarta 10 is uh, available. And then we hear some uh, some cases where they say that they want to move because they want them to pay the cost of doing the name change update plus the API changes. But it will be more interesting if we try to grab or try to find some more information around it. I mean, I remember Kevin, uh, he even posted that one person was talking about asking about it. But are we, doing, are we having all this work to satisfy like a couple of people? I'm not sure. I'm just throwing well, some of into the air the numbers if we use the numbers in, in Ariane's survey you know let's say it's you know slightly over 50 percent of the people will not do the transformation and you know let i don't know what the number i don't know what his percentages were let's just say it's 40 60 let's make up a, a number if it's 40 60 then we have a split market so we either make a choice to, to address one side of the market and completely ignore the other side of the market, or we try to address both segments of the market. It's as simple as that. And I would say that uh, something that's close to a 50-50 split means we have two markets. And so that's why these complicated parallel things come into the come into play. Yep. Well, and interestingly, that's one that's part of the reasons why we have a micro profile in a Jakarta. Right, um, where one segment of the market is really concerned about backwards compatibility and stability, whereas micro profile uh, tends to move more quickly and is willing to break things. Right, so we already recognize that we have two markets. Yeah, that that was one of the points that Dimitri made. You know, and I read in one of his comments. You know, yeah. like, it's our appetite to be aggressive, so let's be aggressive. I think it's a fair point. And Dimitri, again, you were super cute when you said it smells. I mean, seriously, super hot topic, quote unquote, and you use the word smells. That sounded awesome, by the way. Let's, let's smile. This is cool. Yeah, but anyway, so we all understand. Uh, we all understand that we have a parallel market situation going on, right? So we are in. A so with the three minutes we have, right. we have left. Um, do we want to? Do we kind of agree to? maybe take a you know an, another week and in, in, in bound, bandy this about internally you know within our various organizations and in the community right collectively you know maybe i don't know how we find out um you muted yourself we cannot hear you oh geez how i don't long? know how we find out and then you hit the button oh uh yeah you know so we have um Ariane survey right which gives us you know, for, you know, sample size, if I recall correctly, of like 500, right? But it's also bent, I think, a lot more towards enterprise customers. Right. And forgive you for saying this, but, you know, JSF tends to be more traditional enterprise customers, right? And that's the um, the market that Omniface is um, uh, probably is, is, you know, covers more. If we ask, so, we might get different results. Yeah, if we ask if, if we ask in a different context, we could get very different results. So we do that? that's a good question. I was going to say when I saw the, the survey arrived to the, the forum, uh, that we need to have a survey that we can collect information and we can have it for two weeks for March and just collect the information positioned for micro profile users and consumers. We want to hear something that is customized to be users of our community. Um, we need to be cautious of how we read service. Well, right. So I, I think we should, you know, get some data. So to John's point, yeah. 
I think we should get some data, right? So we have data, but that was to a, to a different audience and that's not necessarily our audience. And I yeah. think Dimitri's fundamental point is that our audience is a more aggressive, is a fair one. And uh, if we have our own survey where we said something like, do you plan to switch to the Jakarta namespace in the next year? Yes or no? And something like that. And see, very simple. Simple. and see, and just make it binary, yes or no, right? And uh, see what we get. I mean, if we get like 70% and 30%, well, then we got our answer right there. <laughs> you know, our market wants to switch. We should facilitate it. If we get 50 50, then, you know, we, we at least know that we're no different than any other. Yeah, I, I agree. But what about the question do you want? to implement or adopt a use micro profile for it oh in the same survey that can contradict each other, not wanting to switch to the Jakarta namespace, but wanting to have to work with for it oh in the same implementation that is not going to work right now unless you have the recommend. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm gonna pause the conversation here. I, I think it sounds like we kind of generally agreed on a survey. Um, yeah. Does somebody want to lead the survey discussion to come up with the questions in the community? It should be one or two questions. Let's keep it simple. And that's fine, but we're gonna to want to phrase it and, and stuff. Does someone want to take the lead on that? I can volunteer. Sorry, no bandwidth. Thank you, Emily. Okay, yeah, thanks, Emily. Again, I will create a Google Doc, I put a couple of questions and I'll open up for input for a couple of days and then we will uh, put a survey out uh, via Twitter or uh, yeah, or various media. I mean, you know, we could have a Google Doc and all stuff. I do think a tweet would be as a, a Twitter poll would be super, super effective. Yeah, so basically what I'm saying is I open the Google Doc to collect a question, a couple of questions. I, I, I have a couple of questions and then I put in there and then uh, uh, send a message out to see whether what people think about maybe they, they want um, kind of other different questions. I agree, maybe a couple of questions or we use Twitter to directly tweet it out. We could tweet one, let it go for like a while, then tweet another one, let it go for a while and then just see what we get. Yep. We can just promote it. Okay. We have never paid for Twitter. But I think we should pay for this because we wanted I, I to know outside. promoting 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 the tweet means you're going to reach a different audience than you've been reaching in the past, and we want to um, reach the audience that we have been reaching. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. so Emily's going to lead the discussion. Sorry, I'm just trying to fit this in the in the next two minutes. Um, do we want to have a call next week, or do we want to go back to our every other week schedule? Can we? I I think uh, this is uh, like how we should have set with this one before we go back to uh, bi weekly. Yes, bi weekly. Yeah, I agree. I'd agree. Sorry, Sorry. Did you say continue no. with this? Continue until, until we settle this. Wait continue a minute. Continue yeah. until we settle this. Okay. We're, okay. I, I'm hearing two different directions, and Amelia is agreeing with us, but I think we're all saying, except for Amelia, we want to continue this next week. Yes, I want to. Great. I want us to go back to normal in March, and I'm biased here, so this is why oh, I'm smiling. We are all biased we'll in your direction too, but we'll have to earn that. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think there's a pragmatic reality in front of us, right. unfortunately. Let's keep it until we get this tackled. Okay. Okay, so yeah. I'll make sure the, the the calendar is up to date. Ruled by majority. That's easy. Uh, consensus. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can we can copy and paste the minutes for next week because we only got to one topic. That's it. Just we didn't yeah. do anything else. So copy paste and I, I can copy paste and just put it for the next week. Just okay. And I'll have this uploaded in the next, I don't know, well, some sometime today. It just takes a while to render and stuff. So mm -hmm. um I will uh I, I guess with that kind of close the call. Sorry to be again brutish at the end, but just trying to manage the clock. Yep. Um thank you. We'll see everyone. Um, same bat time, same bat channel in one week. Yes. Bye, oh. Thanks, everyone. Have a good week, y'all. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye